thank you to one of our awesome parents who has provided us with this amazing grid from her school so that would saved us all a bit of time here at St Andrews. I'm just going to go through a couple of the drawing activities to demonstrate today. We haven't got enough sun for me to line up some things and draw their shadows so I thought I would find a toy and it just happens that I have this one at school. So the activity is find a toy and see if you can draw it. What shapes and colours can you see? So when I'm looking at my teddy bear, I can see a round shape at the top. Sort of a bit flattened round and little ear shapes on the side. And another round shape in the middle. And I can see lots of round shapes. There's a round nose, round eyes just peeking up above the nose, and curly stitching to make the mouth. That's the shapes I can see on the bear at the top. Then I can really see the foot shapes standing out. So I'm going to draw those in. And then add in the other parts because the arms are kind of like big ovaly shapes. And they almost kind of run into the rest of my bear. A lot of the body is hiding behind these other main shapes. The legs are hidden because the bear's in sort of a sitting position. And then lots of paw prints really stand out to me. patterns like that. And then the last thing I'm going to do is add lots of texture because this bear is really furry. It's kind of all rough around the edges. So that's something that you might like to choose. That's from the first page. But there is some other examples so I want to have a look at some of those too. Okay, that's that one. On this next page, we've got find a character from a book, TV show, comic or movie that you like. Can you draw them? Can you draw them in the same style as the artist who made them? So here at school, I found this Lego book. So I've looked for a picture of a Lego person because they do have a particular style. The head is really squarish with just rounded edges at the bottom. So if I wanted to draw that, I'd need to really try and keep that squarish shape of the Lego head. Now this one's wearing a hat, so I don't have to draw the rest of the head. I can just try and add that hat shape in. And then Lego men or girls usually have really regular faces. Their eyes are quite often black dots and their mouth is in a similar position. And this one's got eyebrows. Now to finish that off I might add in a bit more detail for the hat. A wide neck and then I can just fit in a little bit of the body. Now in this picture, the body is twisted to the side. Just a bit like that. Have a go, see if you can find a favorite character to draw. The last activity I want to show you is from the last page about drawing. Michelangelo painted the roof of the Sistine Chapel by laying on his back on a raised platform. Stick some paper under a table or a chair and give it a try. So I've stuck some paper under here. I've got to lie on my back and just add some finishing, touch, finishing touches to my beautiful artwork. And then I'll show you. I'm a bit inspired by Michelangelo. I've copied part of his famous drawing 
There we go. So three options. Choose something and have a go for art today.